Off the mark now, Graham Smith, and South Africa open their accounts. Cries of catch it, and it's gone over the top. No third man, that's raced away quickly. Brett Lee will be encouraged by that. It was a genuine outside edge, but it went. It's a good shot from Smith. The first aggressive stroke from him. Bowled him. Kasperovic has got one through the gate. De Villiers goes, and the first wicket falls. Happy with this. It was a foolish delivery. That's what Kasperovic can do. He's got the ability to bring it back into you. Stop ball, he looks to take it away. He's left the gate. He needs the gate open. There's a good chance he might get bowled. De Villiers gone for eight. No ball, beautifully timed. Legacy of Sunday. And off the edge and down to the third man boundary for four. Oh, and that's out. Caught behind. Yes. No. Uh, no. No suggestion of waiting for the umpire's decision there. It's the first wicket in Test cricket for Stuart Clark. That's very well bowled. And he'll be mighty pleased with that. That really is a good delivery. We talked about the length that they should bowl, and that's exactly where it is. Just enough movement to hit the outside edge of Graham Smith's bat. He'll be disappointed. South Africa, 42 for two. In the air, that's out. He's hit it straight to gully. Well, good thinking by Ponting. That's where you've got to give the captain a pat on the back. The exit field, there it is again. Have a look at this. Just a little bit of extra pace, I think, from Stuart Clark, and that's where he's been so good. Matthew Hayden is the man who's taken the catch, and uh, what a start for Stuart Clark. Unbelievable. He's tried to be aggressive, uh, Jacques Cullis, and paid the penalty. He... That's away, and that's gone. Stuart Clark has had a remarkable debut so far. Fine stroke. Great drive from Herschel Gibbs for to cover. Bowled him. Beautiful delivery. A little bit of a lazy shot, that one. Herschel Gibbs didn't get the full stride in. And she is to lose a wicket, and that on Herschel Gibbs, that's a peach of a delivery. No real foot, mo foot movement, not getting into the ball. 61 for four, Gibbs. Oh, that's a good shot, short outside off stump and nicely played. Well, when it's a short, bad delivery, you've got to give it the treatment. Rudolph. No ball called and well played. Straight down the ground, lovely drive, the ball running away down to the uh, straight boundary. Uh. In the air, and he, oh, you're right. yes, he's got him, I can't believe it, that is so lucky. Whoa. Well, when it's going for you, this is what happens. Well, you can't wish it to go more for you. Have a look at this, good footy skills. Oh my gosh, I can't remember ever seeing that on a cricket field. What looked like a very lame Kasserowitz has been rewarded with a wicket. Rudolf gone for 10. It's now 76 for 5. Excellent uh, skills in the end, but you have to say a fair amount of luck. And it looked as if it, Tony might have in fact have been off the toe. Yes, he, uh, he's loving every second of this. Uh, this shame. That's down to third man for 4. Time that he drove clock. I think it's off the pad. Gone, caught Gilchrist. Stuart Clark, what a debut he's having. And again, good bowling from Stuart Clark. Fiddle for it, Boucher. Great catch in the end because it was dying on him for uh, Adam Gilchrist. Into the webbing it goes. So one keeper catches the other. Mark Boucher, 16 for him. One up. And a race away. There's just been a couple that have gone through the third man area, which has been quite strange normally. It's in the air, but it'll run away for four. 
long as the bowl the right length Barry that's going to be the critical thing because good catch sharp catch again Matty Hayden is so good in that area Brettley is back into the attack and he's done the business here Australia's catching has been spot on yet today another loose shot from the Slavigan batsman and yet again you got to say it another soft dismissal they can't afford this but credit to Australia They've stuck to their lines and lengths and Prince not able to push on it's 124 for seven it was a well directed delivery he had to move fast There's the up delivery and well played. If they're up, go after them. If you're going to go after them, go after them hard. And that's gone. In the air and over the top. Not a great delivery. Doesn't bowl many of those. And it's misfielded as well. Well, Warren won't be complaining about that because he knows it was a bad ball in any event. And that's four. No third man. Lots of attacking fielders. Oh, and there it is. Beautifully taken. Well, that's exactly the way to go. When you're playing this game, attack. And Ricky Ponting has attacked. The extra fieldsman into the slip cordon. From Jacques Callas earlier on. And there we go again. He's gone hard at the ball. And a wonderful catch. Low down. And look at the reaction of Brett Lee. Australia have struck again. And South Africa further in than Amaya. Uh, Hall goes for 24. It's 14838. In the air and into the gap. Well, it was a full toss. Probably uh, didn't deserve a wicket. But it very nearly got. Not scared to toss it up. But well played by Andre now. Got it on the fall and put it away for four. over the top no one down there that's past Hayden very good bowling again from Shane Warne but yeah no doubt expecting that to turn sharply he's got uh, some willow on it Gilchrist is chasing and it's a teaser big shout could it be the fifth yes it is brilliant stuff from Stuart Clark that is outstanding on debut he's now got five for 40 Time. I'm not sure where there's a little edge here. Just uh, pitches right in the zone. And it's hit him on the roll, so that's fair enough. That's going to hit the stumps. And we'll see that. Oh, it says it's going over, but I didn't uh, I didn't pick that. I must admit I thought that was out. So umpires called it as out. Maybe Nicky Boyer, when he sees that, uh, he might feel he's a little bit unlucky. But Stuart Clark, five wickets. He's deserved it. He's bowled really well today. Boyer, 31. 173 for nine. He's hit that one. Wow, that is a good hit. That has gone a long way back. What a fine strike for one right now. Caught that. And that's hit uh, down towards the man at long on and just over him for six. Justin Langer, one of the shorter players in the Australian side. Bordering on long off. Deep mid on. And he's hit it straight at him. And he's put it down. Well, there you go. Got him in the right place. He sliced that over. Down to third man for four. Frustrating for Brett Lee. Yorker. The Yorker and out. It's good bowling. Daryl Cullen and called it. Or certainly alluded to it and Brett Lee outthought the batsman now Andre Nell didn't seem too happy he may have thought that uh, the only thing it could have been inside edge but they don't come more out than that so a useful little partnership from Nell and Antini he's now going to take the new ball South Africa a lot of work left to do promising starts from one or two players got double figures throughout most of the batting order but no one really really got their act together yet today Australia bowled superbly well the feature of the bowling that of uh, Stuart Clark good support well, 
Langer hit that like a tracer bullet. Oh, that's a good shot. That's the second time he's played that one. Almost exactly the same place. Here's the pull shot again and right out of the middle of the bat. And once again, that'll go down to the boundary for four. Oh, that's a good shot. That's what he's looking for. Playing the ball straight down the ground. It's tough from around. Oh, it's given out. I was about to say it's tough from around the wicket. I'm not convinced. Neither is Justin Langer. He took a long time. Yeah, I don't think this is... Uh entirely uh well did one say it's going to go over the top or missing leg stump probably hawkeye says it's going over the top well unfortunately he's got to go for 16 is 21 for one there's a man back but he's hit that very well indeed back with a square the man was bang on square Oh, it's a, uh, a leading edge as he tried to work it a bit leg side. It's slapped away by Hayden and it'll run away for four and that takes him to seven. Well, the closer play looming is not going to change Matthew Hayden's way of playing. Not much short, but... Uh... Unlucky. Unlucky. It's raced away for four. And there's four more to Hayden. Doesn't move. Good stride. Picked his spot. Hit it there and relaxed. Oh, it hasn't carried. Frustration. More of it for Antini. He's found the outside edge of both batsmen. And that's another nick. And it's over the top. And it's four. And it's uppishly played again. And he's lucky again. Well, that's uh, what exactly what Andre now wanted to get him to do. Well, there's that short ball. It's in the air. Is it going to go all the way? Yes, he's watching it disappear. That's a magnificent shot. Ponting, one of the best players of the hook shot in world cricket. Well, there's the one that was relatively close to the fieldsman. And that brings up uh, Matty Hayden's half century. He's had a lot of luck. Of that, there's no doubt. However, he's cashing in. It's worked from just outside the line of off stump. And it's one of those tracks that if you happen to pick up one, you can easily pick up another one as well. But uh, these two guys have got stuck in. This partnership now, 100 runs off 174 deliveries. Outside edge, and it's gone past. Graham Smith at first slip through the vacant second slip position, and the boundaries the result. Well, I'm... Um really amused and that's a 50 for uh, Ricky Ponting Hall again edge and that's gone past Mark Boucher now it's not the first time over the last couple of years we've seen that happen where first step Graham Smith is fairly wide uh, Mark Boucher really hasn't gone for it in the end when he decided to go it was far too late stage Andrew Hall it is charging in and as a top edge it could well be out Andre Nell is underneath it and he has taken the catch. No, he hasn't. He has put it down. Goodness me. That minute. Every now and then they've bowled that short ball to Ponting. He's got underneath that. And this should have been absolutely swallowed. Straight in and straight out. Oh, um, take that. Short delivery. Well, that's um, the first short, bad, really bad ball that he's bowled. Well, here we go, Nicky Boyer into the attack and straight away. We're going to see, this will be very interesting. If he gets uh, a, a miss hit yet a mid on, it'll be a great... In the air and straight down the ground, what a shot. Well, this is incredible cricket. He's just hit him straight down the ground for six. And that's beaten mid on and that'll go for four as well. 34 balls under the given circumstances that's not bad going got him he's out he's out caught short extra cover well justification 
for the decision of Graham Smith to put a man on the drive. To have given it away like that. A credit to Callis. Got it up middle of Ponting's bat and well taken by the short cover. You won't be happy with that. That's loose. Straight in. And ironically, Andrew Hall was the man to take the catch. He should have had it. Oh, there's the short one, and that is well played. He plays that shot so well. And uh, into the gap and down to the boundary for four. So, uh, yet again, getting it into the right area, but... Uh, well, that's well played. Straight down the ground again. And uh, all the way for four. Well, that's in the air. Now, will this one be caught? Hold your breath, he's got him. Well, Matty Hayden looked to me as if he checked his shot that time. It's just another one. Stopped his shot, tried to pull it away. It's got a top edge. Jock Rudolph running in at last. We've got one. So Matthew Hayden goes uh, in the 90s. He perhaps uh, felt he, <laughs> he mightn't have deserved 100 after all of that. Batted for a near enough four hours. 192 for three. Well, that's a short delivery. That's a bad ball, and that's four. Going good intent here. That is beautifully played. That is a glorious shot from Damian Martin. It's one of his trademark shots. Now, there was a noise. They've gone up, and so has the finger. Hussey was away. He turned. Fuller delivery, the fuller length, asking him to have a drive. Well done, Andrew Hall. No doubt, Alim Da. On this occasion, he is convinced. Help Pahasi. He turned immediately to walk. He's got a big breakthrough for South Africa. Australia now 214 for four. He's away. With a cover drive, it's going to be a little bit of a teaser towards that boundary. That's good work. Jacques Rudolph. But three runs the result. Smashed away. Too short, sat up and deserved to be spanked. There's a nick. Callas has picked up an important wicket here. Damian Martin is one of those guys, when he gets a start, generally goes on, kicks on. And Thought uh, his eyes lit up here, a little bit of room to swing the bat, try to hit it too hard, little nick to Boucher. This game's not over, don't worry about that. Jacques Cullis, he's bowled pretty well. 236 for five. It's nicely steered. There is no third man. Andrew Hall was a man at a, uh, a deep gully, if you like. And that was beautifully steered by Adam Gilchrist for four. There again. Oh, that was in the air. That man at Silly Point that Barry was talking about uh, had to react very quickly because it moved quickly off the willow. Short and hammered. That is a remarkable shot. It has gone, I think, for six. Yes, it has. Hit the advertising triangle on the fall, so that is six runs. It was. He's gone again. And this time, he's hit it just as far in the same area. He's hit that beautifully. That has gone a long way. Another six. That's the third six off the over. That's a confirmation of the most sixes in a test match. When they always around the mark. Gone. Callas has got another one. Adam Gilchrist going for the big shot on the offside. Virtually the same shot and just a little bit of width again. Adam Gilchrist trying to hit it too hard. Nice, comfortable catch for the skipper. He really does take them well at that height. And Jack Cullis has got his third. That's a big breakthrough. Very dangerous play. And Adam Gilchrist, he's gone. 272 for six. Well, there's that uh, flay through the offside. It'll go for four. Very difficult to shot to stop. That's been blazed away through the offside field. Almost as if he decides, predetermines that um, this one's going to. Oh, he's gone for it again, and that's another six. Oh, he's such a strong, uh, such a strong bloke. Underneath that one, over long on, that's his second 50.
in Test Match Cricket. And uh, oh, there he goes again. This should be out. This is going to be caught. Or will it be? Or will it be? Yes, it is. Thank goodness for that. Nell has caught a catch. That'll take the pressure off him a little bit. He might even sleep tonight. I think this was a new ball shot. Decided to take on Boyer again. And watch Nell this time. The hands position. A little bit different to uh, the one that he dropped. Yes, well, um, you've got to catch them like that, I suppose, when um, they're going to... Well, they're up around your shoulders anyhow. So, the end of Simons, 294 for seven. In the air, and that's the end of that. He's cut the ball straight to Gully. Boy, Gully's been in business in this test match. So um, it's a question of what they'll do. Actually, it's not a bad thing to uh, give yourself a couple of chances, two chances, rather than just uh, commit yourself to the new ball and then uh, away we go. So Mackay has got himself a wicket. It's 294 for eight. Oh, he's dropped him. Well, it would have been a good catch. But uh, it didn't seem to me that he really got off the ground. There's a good shot down the ground. No, it's not. It's caught him. He's gone for the hit and he's got he's mishit it. That is what they should have done early on. They should have kept both those fielders up. He's uh, hit it straight to mid on. So Nicky Boyer getting a wicket here and um, justifiably so too. I think he's bowled pretty well today. It's good for Nicky Boyer. He's put in the overs. And as Warren was dismissed there, Boucher turned to Smith as you say, you were right. Told you. So I think it's going to take a very, very patient knock from somebody. From the South African point of view, that's the 300 for Australia. It looked like a dog. This is stood back and swatted that, and that'll be irritating. Well, is it going to go all the way? It's stopped. A little bit of backspin. And just... well hit but well enough again I don't think it's going to get to the boundaries out that's the end of the innings South Africa will be happy with that for the reasons other than uh, the lead is restricted to 103 but the reasons that Barry Richards was saying the opening batsmen now have an extended time at the crease rather than a dodgy little six or well, seven overs backing away middle of the bat nicely taken by Gibbs in the gully and uh, all in all a good performance from South Africa it could have been a lot better had they been a little luckier in the morning but that wasn't the case but they've come back well since lunch Barry yeah they certainly have and I mean uh, Ricky Ponting probably will be very very disappointed with just just that sort of lead 103 it was uh, on the cards that it was going to be 200 plus at one stage but it uh, uh, that's the match summary then. South Africa 205. Australia replied with 308. Lead of 103. We'll be back. It's a nice shot. He loves driving, does A.B. De Villiers. Nice way to get off the mark and that will relieve the tension. He's whipped that away for four. He will not miss out in that region, Graham Smith. Well, that's shot. And Smith is whittling that away. That's a nice, solid shot. Short boundary straight. Now, that's uh, good work from Gilchrist. And A.B. De Villiers has actually walked. He's gone very smartly. Now, Gilchrist, I don't think Gilchrist thought that was a neck. He's still a little bit stunned. Have a look at that. There was this disappeared and walked to the change room. There was a noise yeah. and a nick. Inside edge, absolutely. Good catch. Well, as you say, Adam Kilchrist, he's given that not out. And the rest of the, the Australians, they know that is out. And A.B. de Villiers has to go for seven. It's 20 for one. Bowled him. That is a great delivery. That is a terrific delivery. Herschel Gibbs cannot believe that got through. A little bit lazy. Five kilometres per hour. Yes, of course, that's beaten for pace. 
Nup. He's late on it. It's Nup back, and off pole has taken a crash. Beautiful stuff from uh, Brett Lee. And now South Africa, well, not what they wanted. Still 83 runs behind. He's gone for naught. It's 20 for two. Hit off stumps so hard. And what a shot. What a great shot. Up in 145. Well, it's not going to make it yet, yet again. And he gets three. going down oh that's got to be close oh yes that's all over I've got to say my first reaction was just a, a quick query as to whether he got outside the line it's not in his natural play to try and block it's quite short he reads it goes right onto the back foot but it does turn and it turns quite quickly uh, for me I think uh, probably that's a good decision I thought initially too he might be just outside the line the umpire had absolutely no hesitation so graham smith's gone for 16. boy south africa have their backs to the world it tight that is a good shot nicely played it's with the spin down towards the mid-wicket boundary Oh, and from outside off stumper, bottom edge, down to the boundary for four. Mid. Straight back down the ground. That's a beautiful shot. Jack. That is a very good shot. He's driven that one through the offside field all the way along the ground. Uh, driven down the ground lovely shot another lovely shot that was up there for a while and Gallus first runs of the morning and that might well go for four and does good start for Callis in South Africa what a catch bounce just talked about that Gilchrist takes an absolute blinder so hopes for this test match he needed a big innings from Callis as uh, Alan Donald said it was the bounce that did him oh, no Shane Wall was diving out of the way because Gilchrist has launched himself across in front of first slip caught a wonderful wonderful catch and uh, Clark as you would expect absolutely over the moon Australia know what a big big wicket that is Callis gone for 36 added just five this morning and South Africa now 75 for four that's runs through one of the gaps I think that's gone over the top in fact perfectly harmlessly but four runs he's away and it's a fine stroke for four it's gone through the fingers of Shane Warne now that has taken off as well so that's the other thing I need to consider here this track is They've gone up. There were two noises, and up goes the finger. Ashwell Prince has got to go. A little bit fortunate. Uh, the ball before was put down just by Shane Warne, and Clark has got a little bit of a strangle here. The next ball. Yeah, well, this is the danger when you get too far across, like Ashwell Prince does. The danger is that you can't glove it or get it off the uh, the bat down the leg side. An unfortunate way to go out, but he's unfortunately has to go. Well, that's a good shot lovely shot through the offside field for four Jack Rudolph over pitch delivery onto the good shot over pitched trying to bowl a Yorker I would suggest and very nicely acted upon wide and four lovely shot smashed it through the offside field oh 
what a catch. What a magnificent catch. Justin Langer has taken an absolute beauty. Spravitz, we've been saying that he hasn't been doing much. He's just rolled the fingers around, so it came off a little slower. Justin Langer positioned for that very shot, and Mark Bouch will be disappointed. He should have played a little squarer, just ridden with it a bit. He got roughed up all right. 108 for six. Well, he's got one away at last, Andrew Hall. He's not going to... Cut away, back with a square. Kasperwitz having just bowled seven overs on the trots, the man who has to chase it. He'll have a go at that all the time, well, Andrew Hall. Might have been a bit of a ploy to try and get him around his legs, but uh, anything in that region Hall is quite strong on. And a good shot. Beautifully played by Jacques Rudolph. So again, some intent. Good shot. It's nicely played. Use the feet. Very good shot indeed. That's showing some confidence. Ten. Inside edge onto the thigh pad. Rudolph is thinking about two down to Stuart Clark. All six foot six of him. And just won the result. Well, good shot again. Lovely drive. That should go for four. Will Kasprovitz get there? He's done well. He's managed to cut it off. It's a lovely drive through the offside field. Oh, he's bowled him. He's clean bowled him out of the rough from round the wicket. I should never have said it. That is a magnificent delivery. I just cannot understand it. He's wasted about six or seven overs. We've been calling for it uh, behind the scenes here. And look at this. I think it just got a little inside edge, and that's why Jacques Rudolph can't really believe how far it's gone back. But I think it's spun enough. He just didn't get the bat out the way. Little inside edge, and uh, Shane Warne, that'll give him a lot of confidence. He's played well, Jacques Rudolph. Fought him off for uh, a long, long time, but the seventh wicket is down. 158 for seven. Well, that's a very, very good shot. Well, if you're going to sweep, that's the way to sweep, right over the top of your chin. Upishly played, but it's going to go to the boundary for four. So, a little bit of aggression. Down the ground it goes, it's in the air, but it's going to go all the way, is it? Just short of the boundary down there. Well... Good shot, and straight through Simons. That's dreadful fielding. Boy, he does some great work in the field. And that's it. Corden ball, first ball. Well, he deserves it, does he not? One doesn't like to see the South Africans uh, tumble necessarily, and you don't like to see anyone get out first ball to a bowling change. But uh, this is the guy that deserves the wickets. Uh, just Nicky Boyer not paying attention to the uh, different pace. He's been facing Lee and it's been really quick and suddenly the man comes on he's 10 12 15 k's an hour slower Mick, nicky boy has threw his shot a little too quickly and uh caught and bowled easy as you like 179 for eight in the air and into the gap four there's going to be no messing around here Nell has decided to uh, adopt the hall philosophy oh he's bowled him He's bowled him. What a... It's appropriate that he gets 10 in the match. Reception of the short pitch delivery or the Yorker. And he went for the one, pitched up. Smart thinking. Andre Nell, I think, uh, expecting the short pitch, uh, short pitch delivery. And he is fooled by his uh, seeming counterpart. Andre Nell, just as, uh, four runs for him. 183, nine down. Ah, oh, he slapped it away behind point. This may be a good little period here for South Africa. One Second innings, target was 117. It's up in the air, and there's a man making it. Kasper, it's not going to get to it. It's the one. 117 required. Donald lost the bail off his off stump. Shot. But out. Good contact. 
Good work from Kasprovitz, made good ground to his left. And so Shane Warne gets yet another test wicket. Stuart Clark will not be the third Australian to get 10 in the match on debut. Hit this really well, Daryl. Yeah, he did hit it well, McKinney, unfortunately, just picking out Kasprovitz there on the boundary. He was set back for exactly this. He put money on McKinney, just having a go at something. Well, it's a pity. Not the best of shots, but he is a number 11. Has left Andrew Hall stranded, though. Let's give credit to him. He's very, very well played innings of 34. It's unfortunately, though, has to come to an end. So now South Africa Australia need 95 to win the innings. Uh, those years ago, you never know, it's a strange old game. South Africa, 205, Australia, 308, South Africa, second innings, all out 197, 95 to win. Back, here's the first ball, a little bit lakeside, just worked nice and fine. One thing they'll do is run very hard between the wickets, the Australians, they always do. And Australia open their account with uh, a couple of runs and their leg. Hayden likes it there. No, obviously doesn't by the yell. There we go. Make him play, Makaya. It's a good shot. That is a very good shot indeed. Short and wide and hammered for four. It's a good shot. Chases on for Prince. Going to be a little teaser this one. He does well as Prince. Hayden comes back for two. Hayden was amazed at how much it was still. Uppishly played, but uh, he's got away with it. It seems that this pitch is creating that sort of situation every now and again. He certainly. Well, there's that pull shot in front of square, rushing away down to the boundary. That is a fantastic shot and a good effort, but it's gone for four. Oh, good shot again. That's oh, he's gone like it's gone like a rocket off the bat. Yes, uh, Things are starting to happen a little bit. Uh, Boy, are into the attack. Uh, big appeal for LBW. Oh, and that's gone flying away down to third man. And uh, there's no one covering that area because uh, they're all up in the circle. Here we go again. This time it's Langer. Only one, though. This will bring a couple. Prince is quick. Won't give them time to get to run three. Use of the feet that lap around the corner. And then when it's up, over the top. It's 68 without loss. That's up in the air. And it's carried. We're referring to, and he's just trying to. But he's there's a no. It's not a pull shot. He's gone at it with his leading leg, and uh, to sort of slap it over mid wicket. And Tini's successful. The catcher was Gibbs. Hayden departs for 32, 71 for one. Bolden dragged it on. And that is a uh, just reward for Antini. He's gone past the outside edge often enough. He's bowled superbly well. Just hung it in there and eventually been rewarded. Australia now lose their second for 71. Eases that through uh, forward square for one as well. In fact, he's going to come back uh, for the second. Ashwell Prince is a shy at the stumps. McCrantini, he's got two wickets. Big shot for McCrantini. Oh, and up goes that finger. Ricky Ponding's not too happy with that one either. He stood around for some time and looked to me as though that was going down the leg side. He delivers generally from wide of the crease, McCrantini. Yeah, I think it gets a long way across. He always said, this looks out and that, oh no, that can never be out. Not the angle that Makaya bowls at. Mind you, you can just see leg stick, so it might be just scraping that. Well, there we go. Perhaps it was a very good decision. For my initial reaction, was the same as yours. But the umpire probably got it right. So, Ponting, oopsie, on his way for one. 
76 for three. A.B. de Villiers is the chaser. And they come back for two. Beautifully played. Gee, that is a lovely shot. Yeah, it only takes one bad ball and he jumps all over it. What kind? 15 for 12. Top edge. And that is going to be it. There are the winning runs. Michael Hussey has got it away back on a square, not for a boundary, but two runs the result. And Australia win by seven wickets and first blood to the visitors. Yeah, and they're mighty relieved in that dressing room, I can tell you. And so are their supporters. They'll be very, very happy with that. Graham Smith, disappointing for him, but uh, he'll know that South Africa are a lot closer than they have been for quite some time. They've made... So looking back at the match summary, South Africa winning the toss and making 205, a deficit after the first innings, and Australia 95 to win. They did it with three wickets down, and they won by seven wickets.